Are you going to Here comes the Sandra. No, here, this is this well, is being sent out. This is not even his. It's not even his five thousand chip. It's not even his chip. I saw him me three three times. Come on, that's what I said. I'll take your I'll take your head off, buddy. Oh, now this incident is beginning to spin out of control. Right. We are down to five tables in this main event, and as unlikely as it seems, three of the top pros are sitting at our featured table. There's Jeff Lissandro, a terrific player, but this will be his first main event cash. Pralad Friedman, a longtime internet whiz, won a World Series bracelet in 2003. Alberto Brennan is taken lightly because of his attitude, but he is a great player to Jeffrey Lissandro. Pocket eights. And he's going to make the call. Holmes will fold. Seriously, I thought I saw you throw that out. Man. Pilot making a awesome. big deal out of a little thing. He believes Lissandro, not Holmes, failed to put out an ante. Heads up to the flop, Molina and Lissandro. It is deuce seven, ace Molina wins the coin flip, pairing his ace. And he comes out with another 140,000 chip bet. He likes that number. And Lissandro will call with his pocket eights and trailing. Yeah, trailing badly. I thought you threw it out, dude. So, uh, you know, I'm not 100%, but they should check it. Holmes seems uninterested. Lissandro just focusing on the business at hand. Here we go to the turn card with Molina way ahead. Four is no help to Jeffrey Lissandro. And Molina once again reaching for a lot of chips. He goes 200,000. So Molina steps it up and Lissandro steps out. Molina wins the hand, picks up about 400,000 chips. I don't want to hold up the game. I saw him throw the ante in. He says he did. You know, I don't necessarily believe him. So, I mean. Pralad won't give it up. So if he threw the ante out, he just gets robbed because he, he's more bold and says that Are I you a thousand it. percent? And I'm not a thousand I percent. I say I saw him throw it in. I, if it, I knew for sure you think I'm going to rob him for 5,000? You idiot? It doesn't matter. You're acting like an idiot. I'm acting like an idiot, all right? Yeah, you didn't well, I don't, even see it. I don't trust you, sir, okay? I don't trust okay. you. Prahlad's out of line here saying that Jeffrey robbed him. Hey. Those are strong and inappropriate words. I don't like we your conversation, man. Did you hear me? Stop. Prahlad Friedman and Jeffrey Lissandro still steaming about missing anti-gate. Dude, I saw him throw it in. I'm not... Could you guys please do me a favor and let it go? Uh, I'll let it go. Oh, it's done. But I don't like robbing. I don't like that word. Jeffrey's mad, and I can't blame him. You know, that's a terrible thing to say, Robbie. My God. In Prahlad's defense, I'm sure he thinks Dustin Holmes ante, but he used inappropriate language about Lissandro. Come oh, on, man. I've been in poker long enough, man. I know how it is. Yeah, you guys both please let it go. Are you going to stop? Are you going to stop playing poker long enough? John? Is he going to stop? Partner. Can I talk to you for one sec? Yeah. Over here? It has right. escalated. These things tend to fester like a cold sore. Now, Prahlad has gone away from the table oh, to talk to the floor ever. man. Ever. They probably have it on film somewhere. All right. If we keep taking it, buddy, you know. Uh oh, here comes Lissandra. This is not even his 5,000 chip. It's not even his chip. I saw him throw it in. I saw him throw it Come on. That's what I said. I'll take, your, I'll take your head off, buddy. Oh, and now He's this incident is beginning to spin yeah, out of control. Right. Hey, deal Last man. time I want to hear it. Please don't threaten me in front of everyone. Last like time I want to hear said it. Don't worry about threatening We're gonna, it, buddy. We're gonna keep this. Okay. Did you hear We're what done. he said? He said he'll knock my teeth out. Jeff. Okay, I'm not, being, I'm not being called a thief anymore. I, I understand. You take him off if he says it again. There will be a penalty, and it, it'll depend on who says it. You guys I'm not stop. saying another word, but if he says it one more time. Okay, you're not saying another word, but okay. you're saying another word. That's it. It better be done. Lissandro understandably upset, but now he's out of line in threatening Prahlad. Well, Norman, what began over a single missing chip has now grown into a nasty disagreement here at the feature table. But in poker, you can't worry about what happened. you got to concentrate on what's in front of you, the next hand. Lissandro with Queen of Hearts, Jack of Diamonds. Jeez, Eric Molina over there now looks reasonable. What a twisted world. A raise to 140000 Dustin Holmes will get out of the way. Prahlad Friedman with pocket sixes. Call. Wow, this could be very interesting as Friedman makes the call. Well, who couldn't see this coming? They want each other, they got each other. These two guys love to play with each other. 
Just out of the way. Smart man, Fred Goldberg folds. Pralad Friedman still thinking about that chip. And I wouldn't want to read Jeffrey's mind at the moment. The flop is 7-5-4. All hearts giving Lissandro a flush draw. Friedman with a straight draw. Pralad, six is still in the lead and now has that straight draw to go with it. Check. Jeffrey checks to Pralad Friedman. Pralad is going to bet. It is 300,000 chips. <laughs> you know Jeffrey wants to play, but this is a tough spot for Lissandro. He's just on a draw. He'd love to play, but he's not going to let his emotions get the best of him, and he'll fold, and Pralad Friedman will collect some of Jeffrey Lissandro's chips. Ooh, I can read Jeffrey's mind right now. It's not good. Jeff, can I ask you a question? No, man. No, just don't talk to me. No. Don't ask me anything. Oh, don't talk to me. Anything just mean or nothing. play your game. Okay. I wasn't. I was and just going to ask you. We'll you'll get a long fight. Don't I wasn't even going to bring it up. Just drop it. Okay. Don't talk to me. That's it. No problem. Welcome back to the Rio Poker Room. The earlier altercation between Jeffrey Lissandro and Prahlad Friedman centered around Lissandro and whether or not he'd put in his 5,000 chip ante. Let's take a look at the videotape. And you see on slow motion replay, Lissandro clearly puts out an ante. From the overhead, you see Dustin Holmes put in two chips. That was his small blind, but he didn't put out his ante. Lissandro clearly did put out his. Would it kill you all to give me a telestrator? <laughs> Who would have thought this whole incident would have been built over a missing 5,000 chip ante from Dustin Holmes. Just an innocent mistake. Jeff Lissandro's mistake, Lon, was he didn't use one of his two replay challenges he had at the time. <laughs> Brother, you gotta understand what you said was really bad. Do you think people are stealing $5,000 ante chips? I told you I wasn't 100% sure. Yeah, but you said understand. it three times. I mean, I'd like to forgive you, but... It's like a cold sore, it tends to fester. Jeffrey Lissandro and Prahlad Friedman trying to be better neighbors after their earlier altercation. Action on Lissandro, 41-year-old Aussie who lives in Italy, looks at pocket fours. And he plays in some of the highest stakes cash games around the world. 140. He's going to raise it up to 140,000 chips. Dustin Holmes once again will get out of the way. Now Prahlad Friedman with a suited 8-6. In the big blind. Big blind was raised, and he'll make the call. 110,000 more it cost Friedman. So it'll be Mr. Hatfield and Mr. McCoy. King, ace, jack, not much in there for Friedman. Lissandro still leads. Actually, neither one can really like that check. flop much. Prahlad checks. 200. And 200,000 from Jeffrey Lissandro. It's a bold bet. He's just got the small pocket pair, and he's looking at a board of high cards. Open Prahlad has none of those high cards. And Prahlad gives it up. Lissandro will take the pot after the big bet. And he'll show the fours. Lissandro happy to show Friedman the small pocket pair. Wants to send Prahlad a message. I will bully you around without much. We will be playing down to our final three tables today. 27 players. The average chip stack right now about 3 million chips. Jeffrey Lissandro with about an average stack. Lissandro looks at another pocket pair, pocket sixes this time. 140. And it's another 140,000. You know, since missing anti-gate, <laughs> I believe Dustin Holmes has simply anti every hand and done nothing else but scratch his eye. Prahlad Friedman now with nine deuce off suit from the small blind. Not much, but Friedman contemplating some creative non-violence here. 350. Wow, after Lissandro's raise, Friedman re-raises to 350,000. Big re-raise, and Jeffrey doesn't want to let his pocket pair go, trust me. I call. And he will make the call. So once again, these two will dance alone as we go to the flop. Lissandro in the lead. Jack ace eight, three clubs. Lissandro's sixes are still best. Now, these might be the two best players left in the room other than Alan Cunningham, and each has his hand on the other's throat. But it's going to be really tough here for Prahlad to make another creative move, considering he doesn't even have a club in his hand. Five. <laughs> <laughs> That's I creative. stand corrected for the 837th time. Prahlad backing up his pre-flop raise with a 500,000 chip bet here. And this is a tough flop and a tough bet for Jeffy Lissandro to handle. Lissandro. 
with the best cards, but they go into the muck, and Friedman forces him out. The last hand, Lissandra was the bully. This time, he gets bullied. Now we're playing poker. Oh, he shows the bluff. The Hatfields and McCoys are going to need lawyers soon. Now we're playing poker. Jeffrey Lissandra with 8-6 offsuit. He will call the big blind of 50,000 chips. It's kind of weird to call from the button with 8-6 offsuit, but he's got his eye on Prahlad in the big blind. Prahlad with 6-3 offsuit. He'll check his option. These two will be heads up again. Flop is eight queen king. A pair of eights for Alessandro puts him in the lead. Well, Alessandro got lucky twice over. First that Prahlad didn't have anything in the big blind and then hitting a pair on the flop. Friedman checks with his 1% chance. Alessandro then comes out with 100,000. Yeah, this hand should be instantly mucked. But he's got his eye on Alessandro. Well, maybe they're playing more than poker now. <laughs> Friedman calls with nothing. A seven on the turn gives Lissandro the check mark. He can only lose the hand by folding. Friedman checks. And Lissandro decides to slow down. He will check to the river. River card with Prahlad drawing dead as a jack of clubs. Friedman first to act. Is it checked yet? And he's reaching. Jeez. He's going to bet 200,000 chips to Lissandro. I want you to look at this line. I mean, Prahlad just let out for the first time, and he'd have to play the board. All the cards on the board are higher than his sixth tray. And Lissandro folds the best cards again. And he shows another bluff to Lissandro. Two bluffs by Prahlad in short order. He'll probably show me one soon enough. <laughs> I just read Jeffrey's mind. I can't repeat it. He'll show you one back. He'll catch you, you'll catch him. That's just how it goes. We're gambling. Classic no limit poker from Prahlad Friedman. Where are you from, sir? Uh, Italy, Italy. I'm going over to Italy in September. Yeah, my, my wife's aunt lives over there. Can you take him with you? <laughs> uh, <laughs> take him with you. You pay the One-way ticket, it's only one way. It's a discount, actually. You pay the air I'll give you a two. Uh, oh. You pay the air You, you take it two-way. Well, the mood's lightening up. I think they'll be white water rafting together by the end of the week. Prahlad Friedman will give up his cards, as does Fred Goldberg. Over to Lowell Kim, enjoying his first World Series of poker still. On the Milwaukee's best light pocket cam, King Queen off suit. Well, he might not enjoy it much longer. He's down to 300-some thousand chips. The blinds are up to 25 and 50,000. And he's lining up all his chips. And into the pot they go, 305,000 more to Jeffrey Lissandro. He's got ace eight. Hard call. And makes the call. Need help. Kim does need help. He is behind in the hand, not hopelessly behind. And I think Jeffrey's just happy to be in a hand without Prahlad Friedman. <laughs> the flop is 9-3-7, Lissandro still leads. Ace high is good, Kim is gonna still need some help. Turn card, a four of clubs, now a flush draw for Kim. Kim indeed working on a backdoor club flush. Lissandro looking to knock him out to end this session. Kim needs a king, queen, or club, or he is going home from the main event. River card now is an eight, and Lissandro will win the hand. Lowell Kim is gone from this 2006 main event in 28th place. So everyone's still alive, relieved to make it through to the next day. Even Jeffrey Lissandro and Prahlad Friedman look like they've left their problems behind them.